Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wednesday, the 16th of February, 2022 of the sixth week in Ordinary Time. Our Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, open my eyes to the revelation of your healing presence and saving word. Help me to walk in the truth and power of your love and to not stumble in the darkness of sin and unbelief. Use me to help others find your healing light and saving presence as well. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Seeing things less than clearly increases our desire for perfect sight. One who peers into the perfect law shall be blessed in what he does. Each day is a new occasion to humbly welcome the Word that is able to save our souls. Holiness means hearing loving and living for the Word who is Jesus. In this way we, too, become pure and undefiled before God. Our Epistle Be doers of the Word and not hearers only. A reading from the letter of St. James, chapter 1, verse 19. Know this, my dear brothers and sisters, everyone should be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, for anger does not accomplish the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filth and evil excess, and humbly Welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks at his own face in a mirror. He sees himself, then goes off and promptly forgets what he looked like. But the one who peers into the perfect law of freedom and perseveres is not a hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts. Such a one shall be blessed in what he does. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his heart, his religion is vain. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this to care for orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained by the world. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 15, verse 2. Responsorial. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue, who harms not his fellow man nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord, who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts 
that we may know what is the hope that belongs to His call. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our Gospel. His sight was restored and he could see everything distinctly. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 8 verse 22. When Jesus and his disciples arrived at Bethsaida, people brought to him a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. Putting spittle on his eyes, he laid his hands on the man and asked, Do you see anything? Looking up, the man replied, I see people looking like trees and walking. Then he laid hands on the man's eyes a second time, and he saw clearly. His sight was restored and he could see everything distinctly. Then he sent him home and said, Do not even go into the village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation of the Day be doers of the word and not hearers only. James knows his readers are experiencing tough times, so he encourages them to keep their eyes on Jesus and to persevere in their faith. By acting on the truth that they have received, they will be blessed, he reminds them. Perhaps, like the recipients of James' letter, you are experiencing an unjust situation and you are wondering when things will turn around. Or perhaps you are in a longer season of suffering than you were expecting. A sick spouse, a special needs child, job loss, relational conflict. Trials like these may cause you to feel less than determined to persevere in faith. Even the daily routine can get draining. So here are some ideas to help you persist in being a doer of the word, whether you are in the midst of difficult or mundane trials. First, recognize God's generosity. Look around and acknowledge where you see God's goodness. It could be a kind of doctor or teacher's aid. It could be the beauty of nature or a song that comes on the radio. Acknowledge and thank God for His generosity toward you in big and small ways. You might be surprised to see your attitude lift as you become more and more aware of His goodness in your life. Second, keep doing what's right. As James reminds us, acting on the truths of the gospel is just as important as knowing them. Keep responding with kindness, keep giving generously, and keep forgiving. As you do, you will experience the blessing of peace. You'll have the assurance of doing what God asks, even when it's not easy as well as the joy of knowing that you are sharing Christ with those around you. Whatever trials you are facing today, take some time to recognize God's goodness and generosity and then act on the things you know to be true and right. Perhaps slowly you'll find that you are indeed blessed and that you can take each day as it comes. Perhaps, too, you will become more convinced that your greatest reward will come from God, both in this life and in the next. 
Jesus, thank you for the hope that you offer me. Help me to see your goodness and to act on your word today. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours. Thank you.